Testing continues across Mississippi. Today, folks went to the Knoxville Civic Center just off Highway 45 in Macon for free testing. Appointments were made ahead of time. Organizers were expecting about 60 people to be tested during the four-hour event. The University of Mississippi Medical Center and the National Guard were there to assist. An area nonprofit and a health clinic team up to offer free COVID-19 testing. And as Allie Martin reports, demand for the testing is up and so are the needs for the group's other services. Cars began lining up hours before the free testing began. You're gonna follow me. People were encouraged to pre-register to help expedite everything. Charles Davis works at a local car dealership and says he wanted to get tested for his safety and the safety of others. Family Resource Center has been around for a while. They've been doing a lot of good work for the community. And uh, so this is just another example of all the good things that they do. And uh, being that uh, we are in a pandemic, uh, we have to do everything we can to make sure we're doing our part to make sure we keep everyone safe. FRC joined forces with Access Family Health Services to provide the free COVID-19 testing. As cars are waiting outside for the free drive-through COVID-19 testing, inside, FRC staff are busy serving clients throughout the region. While COVID-19 has impacted the way the work is carried out here, the needs are still great. We're seeing on the rise of uptick in, in child abuse, uh, abuse and also domestic violence. And so we are still providing all those services for uh, CPS and through have partnering with SAFE, uh, partnering with Rural Legal Services, uh, uh, LIFT, uh, as well as uh, Tupelo Housing Authority. Those are some of our partners through the ACF grant that we have. So we are partnering uh, with uh, the community partners in the community. FRC doesn't allow anyone in the building, but they are conducting classes, interviews, and assessments over the phone or Zoom. A program that provides free beds for children is going strong, and supplies for newborns are distributed regularly. Also, if FRC cannot provide a particular service, they find an agency that can meet the need. In Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Each person who was tested today also received a mask that was donated by the Lee County Board of Supervisors. President Tommy Ivey.